Okay, let's talk about the CBEST math section in 2019. Now, if you're watching this video and it's in the future, I'm posting this video obviously in 2019, this is still going to apply. Uh, for those of you that are watching, um, I'm assuming that you know what the CBEST is. Um, it's basically a test, um, one of different type of tests you have to take uh, to be a California educator. So as a fellow educator, although I didn't teach in California, um, uh, I know what it's like to get a standard certification for middle school, high school math, et cetera. I've taught college as well. So, um, you know, these tests you have to treat with respect, okay? Even though you're in school or an educator, you have to study for these exams, okay? They're, they're no different than, say, someone in high school having to study for the SAT or ACT or if you're going on to graduate school, the GMAT or GRE, whatever the case might be, you got to put the work into them to do the best you can because just don't you don't want to cut these things close. They're just too important to your career, especially as a uh, teacher in California. California. So what I'm going to be talking about here is the number one thing to increase your chances of passing. So this is not going to be a big secret, if you will, but it's something that you probably may not be thinking about that's that could be potentially, you know, really uh, hurting you in terms of CBEST math. Now, Many people have a lot of math anxiety. They hate math, and it's probably, I don't have the statistics on it, but I, I would i would probably say that the number one reason people fail to see best is because of the math section, okay? Um, so why is it that? You know, why are so many people, you know, just uh, afraid of math or don't like math? Well, it's because they have this anxiety about it. Now, sometimes, you know, um, you know, you might go back to your middle school, high school years, elementary school <laughs> days, and you're like, I just never liked math as a topic, but you did well, and you got into college, and you took what you had to take, um, et cetera. But you still may have this kind of underlying, you know, just not like of math, and that's okay. However, you need to really kind of check your mindset, okay? And this is what I'm going to be talking about here. And let me draw a little stick figure because I like that. Is what is your attitude towards math? Okay. So when you think of math, what are you thinking about? Like what do you associate math with? If it's anything negative, all right. If it's negative, you're, you're like math over here and you're thinking uh, fear, maybe you have anxiety. Let me spell fear better. Fear, anxiety. Um, I hate math, whatever the case is, da, 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 that's a big detriment to, you know, uh, that's going to hold you back in terms of uh, passing the sea best. okay? Now, you might say, well, I can't help it because this is, you know, my true feelings, and I understand that, okay? So you're like, well, you know, I can't change who I am. However, I will say this month, you need to start associating some positive things with mathematics, all right. I mean, you're you're going to be a teacher. You're or are a teacher. You know, math is a critical skill. You know, uh, along with reading, writing, obviously everything else. So, whatever you think about math and your ability to learn math, you need to kind of reprogram your brain. Okay. If it's anything negative. Now, for those of you out there that already have good associations with yourself about math, whether you feel good about the subject or your ability to learn it. Okay, and do math, then that's great. All right, that's going to really help you out. Okay, now, there's other things you need to be doing as well to um, intelligently approach the sea best. And, and what I mean intelligently is, you know, the most efficient, quickest ways to, to do you know, really good on it. Now, I'll do other videos on that topic, but right now, what I want to talk about is the number one thing you got to really be focusing on before you even do anything, any studying or whatnot, is to check your mindset. All right, and you know, if you do have anything negative associated, you're going to have to go through and do some kind of mental exercises to say, okay, how can I look at this differently? How can I look at the math section differently? And start, you know, um, writing down, you know, maybe the pros of learning math. Okay, what's the pros of learning math? Well, there's a ton of them. I can help my students better. I can, you know, I need to do it anyways to pass the CBAS. I can do this, 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 whatever the case is. But you're going to have to start 
changing your perspective on things, okay? And get and kind of reprogramming your, your subconscious, you don't have this anxiety, okay? Because it's there. You know, so many students, they just have this built up fear. And when they go take the test, they kind of freeze up on it. Okay? And you're, or it's like a, a car engine running on half its cylinders, okay? So I can tell you right now, if you're uh, taking or studying for the CBEST, you absolutely can pass the CBEST math section very well and do very well on it. Now, there's a lot of algebra and geometry. And before I go any further, let me say this much. Um, I offer a CBEST math course. I think it's um, you know really, really well uh, put together. Video-based covers you know all the things that you're going to uh, likely see on the CBEST. I'll leave the link in the description of this video if you want to check that out. But the thing about it is this. Um, to get over this fear and anxiety, you're going to have to have a different relationship with math. And that means you're going to have to do a lot of math and you're going to have to prove to yourself that you're, you're actually, you know, um, pretty good at math. And you can get good in math, but it's, you have to start in the right place, okay? You need, and you need a good kind of teacher or system to kind of build up your confidence. But if you don't have confidence in math, it's not only going to hold you back on the CBEST, okay? You may pass, but you're still going to have this uh, anxiety there, and, you know, it, that's just going to follow you. So you address it, you know, now, Okay, but I'm here to tell you if you're gonna if you if the C best is what you're taking and not the C set, if you're not going to be a high school math teacher, you know, teaching AP calculus, statistics, or whatnot, you could definitely learn the math for uh, the C best and and you know do really well. Okay, and help a lot of your students, you know, um, with your math knowledge. You just never know where where you know. Uh, this math, <laughs> math skills are needed. Believe me, it's 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 kind of crazy, you know, uh, you know, where where math kind of finds its way into our life. You hear, I hear it so often as a math teacher. When am I ever going to use this? When am I ever going to use that? Then yeah, you know, you start, you know, finding out. Oh wow, you you do use it. Matter of fact, just to go off on a quick tangent, one of the most um, exciting and growing fields um, are, and actually very lucrative fields, not in education, but it's something called data science. And basically these are analysts that are basically analyzing using statistics, you know, spreadsheets, information technology. So this is a cross section. They can't find enough of these people. While people are getting their certifications, going back, learning mathematics, learning um, you know, about probability statistics and everything else. And these are people that don't have degrees in math or, you know, actual sciences or whatnot, but they, they need people badly. Why? Because there's so much data out there in our, our world. Okay. So you, having a good math mindset is going to just help you and all the students you're going to interact with. So anyways, I'm here to tell you absolutely you can overcome, you know, at least subside, uh, subside uh, significantly your anxiety or dislike or fear of math. You're going to have to do that before you really, you know, kind of get going with any kind of good study program. Okay. So find yourself a good teacher, somebody to kind of motivate you. Hopefully I could be um, somebody that you uh, reference to. Um, please, um, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I'm always doing tons of videos, math videos, do a lot of math videos uh, on various topics. But, you know, when it comes to high school level math, that's kind of what you need to focus on, on the CBEST. You know, you like my teaching style, you can get a lot of help from me. Make sure you hit that bell notification if you do subscribe. And if you want a more formal, targeted CBEST math course, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best. Uh, appreciate your time. And uh, just don't give up, okay? I know I taught school. I do other things, uh, but I taught middle school, high school, college, online. I'm still in education, uh, but I... Um, I do other things outside of the classrooms, but we need great teachers. Okay. So do the right thing. Don't give up and, you know, take that CBEST the first time if possible and just get a, you know, an awesome uh, score on it. With that being said, thank you so much. And I wish you all the best. Take care.